by Executive Homes. Temperatures this morning, a lot of us start off in those 20s. I can tell you right now that we are headed into a big warm up and we're not seeing any freezing temperatures or sub freezing temperatures for that matter for quite some time. 60 degrees for the daytime high for today. We have the potential now to not only tie but potentially break not only one day but two days of those high temperatures. Friday and Saturday, you know what days those are. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. It has been 99 years since we here in Tulsa have been this warm around Christmas time. Record high for Christmas Eve is 80. Keep in mind we're projected at 77. Record high though for Christmas Day is 73. We're projected at 74 and that was back in 1922. So very impressive warm up. After a foggy start, we're starting to see clear skies for those coats. You can now trade that in for a jacket, 57. To our friends down at Mulkey, Tahlequah 54, 54 over in Grove, Bartlesville. Nice warm up after starting off at 22 degrees here at 52. 54 down in Jinx, Coweta 56, 55 at the Sour and Broken Arrow. We will be trending in those 60s. Yesterday we hit a high temperature of 60. We will do it again for this afternoon. I do see a little bit more sun peeking through, not quite as much cloud coverage for today. 61 down at Mulkey, 62 at McAllister, south winds 5 to 15, 49 is our seasonal average. Yeah, we're turning a lot warmer, and this is just the beginning with those stretch of 70s and sunny. Sunset tonight at 514. We're looking at 55. Once that sun sets, we will see those temperatures holding in those 50s and then 40s. So if you're getting out with the friends and family tonight, maybe going out to dinner, it's going to be a great evening. Take full advantage of this while we have it. 48, a few clouds rolling in. That's going to hold those overnight lows, especially here for the metro over to Pryor. Extending that into Grove 40 over in Tahlequah, so no freezing temperatures expected. I'm so excited and looking forward to actually getting you out the door tomorrow with not talking about freezing temperatures. I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully you are too. For your Friday, winds will be picking up quite a bit, and that is for your Christmas Eve. Something that is worth mentioning, we're really keeping a close watch on in the coming days, is this drought monitor as well. We're not seeing any precipitation in the immediate future and with those winds picking up as strong as they will be out of the southwest with periodic gusts upward of 35 miles per hour. We will have some concerns on Christmas Eve for some wildfires. 77 for your Friday, 74 by Saturday. Even as we look towards next week, which will be ending the year 2021, staying well above average for the